Every day, some 275 million stars die, taking with them planets, civilizations, and light. At the same time, an equal number of stars are formed. Every celebrity undergoes it every day, what can only be described as a life cycle, much like that of living things, although obviously a star's life cycle spans a much longer period of time than that of any living thing. And for that fact, we should be grateful. Our sun is now a main sequence star, or to put it another way, in its prime time, which is a period when it is radiating a vast amount of heat and energy. In billions of years, our sun will start growing until it transforms into a red giant. Entering that phase, the sun will then be around 200 times larger and 2,000 times brighter than it is now. The sun will likely swallow Earth after that in another 2.5 billion years. Therefore, it can be seen that the sun has between 7 and 8 billion years left before it sputters out and dies. It's been a long time, and before the sun can do it for us, or perhaps before, we humans will most likely destroy ourselves. Perhaps by that time, humanity will evolve into a type 3 civilization, and no longer be reliant on the sun. Our sun still has years to go until it reaches the red giant stage, at which point it will implode and collapse in on itself, turning it into a supernova. Time of day, the Orion constellation's most well-known star, Betelgeuse, is another star in our galaxy. At the moment, a brilliant red supermassive star is approaching the end of its existence. It is most likely going to go supernova, and Earth will be able to see it throughout the day. Since the 17th century, supernova haven't been observed in our galaxy. Scientists have already identified a telltale sign to identify when a star is likely to explode, albeit we do not yet know if it poses a hazard or not. This groundbreaking new finding might aid in creating an early warning system prior to one of these massive cosmic explosions. Orbit past the blue. The red supermassive stars in the study were modeled to demonstrate what they might look like one year before they die. Such supernova stars get larger before they explode, becoming dimmer and fainter in the process. The models showed that a layer of circumstellar dust accumulates around the star prior to this explosion. The stars begin to circle one as a result. In the last few months before they pass away, there is a much fainter and visible light. Although scientists are unsure of how this occurs, the dimming of beetle may be related to a sudden buildup of material around the star that obstructs its light. Jews indicate an impending explosion. Because Betelgeuse is so close to our planet, it will be bright enough to be seen throughout the day when it erupts and becomes a supernova. With that knowledge, scientists will be able to direct other telescopes toward the target to investigate the physical circumstances of the star's atmosphere as it gets closer to the point at which it would self-destruct. Betelgeuse unexpectedly burst off its top in 2020, ejecting a massive portion of its surface mass. This was a sight that no one had ever seen before, a sentiment that NASA echoed. Although solar flares are common, this outburst undoubtedly involved something considerably more powerful. Our sun frequently exhibits irrational behavior. The sun has produced a powerful solar flare on October 2, 2022, and photograph of the phenomenon was taken by by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. As we approach the solar maximum, when solar flares are most common, this flare was determined to be an X1 flare, one of the strongest flares, and possibly disastrous if they strike Earth. The explanation contains a link to our video that goes into more depth about this solar flare. However, the Beatles' Jews eruption was a far larger explosion. This specific rejection had a mass that was 400 billion times more than a typical solar flare produced by our sun. Scientists have claimed that additional research is necessary before they can provide us with any firm answers or draw any firm conclusions about the phenomena of the exceptionally large quantity of ejection in Betelgeuse. It's fascinating that the star has unexpectedly faded completely, even though we know that red giants burn up their fuel far more quickly than yellow dwarfs like our sun. It puzzled astronomers all across the world why the phenomena was occurring.
but none had any theories at the time, and it will be some time before we have any conclusive explanations for Betelgeuse. Two more red supermassive stars in the night sky have a few additional supernovas that we can try to examine. First up are the Ans and the Scorpius constellation, which are located 555 light years away. The second is the Al Deban, located around 65 light years away in the constellation Taurus. We have received some from the James Webb Space Telescope. We have started to reveal the cosmos in new ways through images and its eyes. As NASA scans the heavens using the telescope, the most recent research image made public shows a region that is creating stars at a stellar rate. Independent researchers are also using the web to carry out science work. Researchers have captured an amazing image of an unusual galaxy using the James Webb Space Telescope at a distance of around 60 million light years from Earth. This galaxy, also known as NGC 1365, or the Great Barred Spiral Galaxy has one of the greatest rates of star creation of any galaxy we have ever observed. The Hubble Space Telescope previously caught the galaxy in 2020. We are keenly anticipating when Webb will fix its gaze on the Trappist system and the Andromeda Galaxy. Our understanding of the universe will be forever altered by the discovery of an inhabited exoplanet with liquid water or artificial lights nearby. Perhaps at last we will understand whether we are truly alone or whether life is present throughout the universe.